Have you ever Googled questions about poop? Oh, come on, you know you have. That's okay, because I spend the better part of my day talking about poop. So what's a couple more minutes? Let's discuss Google's most searched questions about poop. Now you sit back and relax while I jump into this steaming pile. I'm gonna be typing in some basic questions about poop into Google and we'll see what it offers as an autocomplete. What does poop look like? Well, it looks like crap. Hey, you know what your poop looks like. Are you just asking what other people's poop looks like? Typically, it's about a quarter pounder of soft form stool. Life's too short to have poop envy. Just try your hardest, but don't strain. Okay, for another, what does poop color me? The color of poop can range the whole spectrum of the rainbow, but most of it is an ugly shade of brown, green, or yellow. Red, black, pale colors, gray, they're all concerning for different reasons. Check out our other videos for more information on the colors of poop. Okay, one more. What does poop taste like? A chef tastes their own cookie, but a GI doctor does not. But if I had to guess, it is bile forward with a brown, bitter middle that scrapes the palate and finishes with a note of sour acid, reminiscent of regret that you just ate a piece of poop. Okay, let's get on a different topic. What is poop made of? Most of poop is water. The rest is organic matter from the bacteria in our gut, as well as the lining of our own intestine. It also consists of some food that we aren't able to digest, such as fibrous material. That's why I see blueberries and grape skins in my baby's poop. Fat in excess we can't absorb, and so if you see a greasiness, the stool, that's an excess fat. Most of our bile we reabsorb, but the portion we don't is broken down into stercobilin, which lends our stool that lovely brown color. Okay, let's try some others. How does poop form? Poop departs your stomach as a mixture called chyme. It consists of particles of food mixed with stomach acid. As it enters your small intestine, it meets with digestive juices from your pancreas, your liver, small intestine. Bacteria in your intestines aid in the digestion of complex starches and proteins. These nutrients are then absorbed by your small bowel. A slurry of waste moves from the small intestine into the colon where excess water is absorbed and it's compacted down into stool. How does poop come out? Your anus is similar to a set of doors at an office building or a mall. There's an inner set of doors, the internal sphincter, and an outer set of doors, the external sphincter. When the inner door is open, stool begins to exit, and when it comes up against that external door, you have the sensation that you need to poop. When you go to poop, the outer door opens and the rectum begins to contract. A muscle in the pelvic floor then straightens the rectum and pulls the anus up, allowing the poop to exit. All right, let's wrap this up with one more question. How does poop travel? Well, it's not first class, but there's a coordinated set of muscles that move stool forward throughout the intestine. One round set of muscles constricts and squeezes the stool while another longitudinal set pulls it forward. It's like a pastry chef decorating a cake. Well, we've learned a lot about poop, perhaps more than many of you wanted to know. But for those of you who it wasn't quite enough, please subscribe to the channel and learn more with us. Thank you and be safe.